One of the things that's most important to me is uh, appreciation. Historically, it's, it's been astounding how people forget that it takes a team in order to change the world. You know, appropriately, people give great uh, credit to Steve Jobs for doing amazing things, but, you know, he had 10,000 people working with him. Uh, Edison, another example where he gets all the credit. So I, it started making me think about a, uh, a monument to the people who weren't filthy rich necessarily, but whose money was vastly more powerful because they came in early when it mattered. So this early money is fearless money. It's about recognizing the people who really made the difference and are continuing to make the difference early on. So we wanted those names to be there, not on a memorial. Now a memorial is for people who die, right? But no, not, not for us. We, we're trying to prevent that, keep it going as long as possible. We have our first uh, group of donors who have achieved the commitment that they made to uh, uh, donate $25,000. For most of the folks, it's $1,000 a year for 25 years, which ends in 2030. And so the appreciation we wanted to show is reflected not in thank yous, but in a, what we hope is a permanent monument made of very dense granite mm -hmm. on a granite mountain in the middle of the Caribbean. I was a businessman working in a motorcycle shop, our family business at the time, and I was getting a little older and I was thinking about aging, aging research, and what was being done. And I started monitoring the web and up came this group called the Immortality Institute. And there was an amazing bunch of really sharp, smart people talking about the underlying causes of aging, ways to do things about aging, both biologically as well as with different types of biomedical engineering types of approaches. And I was fascinated. I'd finally found a group of individuals that I thought uh, were on the same wavelength as me. I got this email from this guy who starts, Dear Sir, um, uh, and talking about the possibility of doing some kind of work on longevity of pets. And I wrote back saying, yes, you're absolutely right. It's not as easy as you might think. Unfortunately, pets are only slightly easier than humans. You know, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you're interested. Please tell me more about yourself. And I just happened to decide to throw caution to the wind and uh, offer to help because I knew that no matter what enterprise was just getting started, it was always in need of some help. And I didn't know what to expect, but I emailed Aubrey for the first time and within, I think, 10 seconds, at about midnight my time, I received a response from absolutely 100% and sent me a link and that was it. I was just really off and running. And then I, I attended the conference and, and I managed to see you in your presentation at the Methuselah Foundation. And I was convinced that this was the group of individuals that wanted to do something dramatic. They wanted to transform what it meant to get old and uh, to avoid the suffering and age of aging for, for not just themselves, but for the entire world. And what an inspirational message.